Hello everybody, Sharon Rammel with you from the couch. Let's have a talk about the deep inner work that we need to do to bring an intention forward. For a start, we need to withdraw, to go within, to meditate, to find some space in nature, to find some space at home where we may be at peace so that we can look for the clues inside that we may dream, that we may bring a creation into being. Look at the gifts, look at the bounty that are naturally around you. Have a look at what you have to be grateful for in your life. Honour the work that you've already done, as giving thanks will often give great spirit the clue that you are ready to move on. I love to meditate, to be in gratitude for the creative processes, for the businesses, for the wild forces of creation that have assisted me into bringing the abundance of my magical, time-honoured life. So I ask you to go inside and give thanks to whether you want to give a quick drumming session simply come together in Anjali Mudra and say thank you it's important for when we are trying to bring a new dream into being the inner work helps feed it fires our creative juices for when we turn our awareness to the things our soul has been saying to us It will let us know what we are hungry for, what we are craving. It's often right here, deep-seated within. And our gratitude will help bring it out of us. Part of this inner work for creation, we need to let go of what no longer serves us. And when we let go, there is so much space a lightness of being that is tangible, touchable. Try it. Let go. This is part of our inner work, our soul work. For when we make space, the seeds of the new may grow. Think about it. When we are looking inside of ourselves, sometimes it's very important to actually actually release old dreams, old desires, things that you've outgrown and moved past. You may not realise it, but to relinquish those childhood dreams, the dreams of your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, however old you are last years, is important. For again, the releasing of old dreams creates the critical space that you can then birth and work and begin a new phase of your life. It's so much easier bringing forward your true desires when you've left the old dreams behind. It's important for us to acknowledge that with time, we actually do change and so do our desires. There's nothing wrong with that. It is important to be current, to be in alignment with where you are in your phase of life here and now. So, When you are trying to bring something into being, give yourself time to reflect, to go within, to do the deep inner work. Look back over the previous growth cycles and give thanks for what has come forth. You might like to journal it. Another great way of letting go. And thirdly, most importantly, ask your heart, ask your soul, what it truly desires to bring forth in your life. What do you genuinely, right here and now, long to create? What does your soul want you to experience in life? What authentic dreams are here, waiting for you to fulfill right here in this lifetime and even ask for deeper clarity about how these desires may manifest. Part of your job in this lifetime is to be true to yourself. Walk the steps, breathe and believe and pay important attention to your dreams. Reflect and you never know what seeds will germinate 
for you.